Welcome to St. Luke United Methodist Church and our midweek update. My name is Pastor Kurt McGelkey, and I've got a few announcements for you today, as well as a preview of what we're going to be looking at in worship this weekend. And so just another quick reminder that Sunday school is back in session. Uh, we're meeting in person here at the church. We're meeting in the sanctuary at 10.15 a.m. every Sunday for a 15-minute family worship time. We're encouraging our families to sit with their kids and uh, we celebrate birthdays, we have a short children's message, we sing a couple songs, and take an offering just like we would normally do during worship. And so um, it's a, an exciting time that the parents can worship with their kids. Um, and then at 10.30 a.m., the kids then go off to their Sunday school classrooms, uh, and then the main worship service begins. Uh, children are always welcome in worship, and so they can come to any of the services. Um, we just found that sometimes this works better for parents. Uh, we also resumed our nursery during the 10.30 a.m. service. Uh, we welcome infants and children in worship. I don't want you to be discouraged from bringing kids uh, and infants to worship, but we also recognize that it can sometimes be hard for parents to worship when they are worried about their kids making a bunch of noise. Um, I love to hear noise in worship because it reminds me that we're alive, <laughs> that we've got kids and they're our next generation and all that. But uh, um, I also understand it's, it's kind of stressful for the parents. And so all our ministry, our, our nursery staff are safe gathering certified. They've had their background checks. So your children are safe with us in our hands. And so you can, you can bring your kids uh, and we have that. So the nursery is downstairs just off the fellowship hall. Um, and there'll be folks around that you can see that. So you're invited to bring your kids for that if you, if you would like. Um, so tomorrow, <clears throat> October 14th, we continue our pastor study called Defying Gravity, Breaking Free from the Culture of More by Tom Berlin. And it's not too late if you'd like to join us for this study, uh, but you'll have to get your own book. Um, you can order it online. Uh, there's a link in the description below that'll take you to that web page uh, where you can order from Amazon or you can go to our, our website and you can find out more information there. Um, we are studying chapter two, so you want to make sure you're up through chapter two for tomorrow's study. And this study, uh, normally when we have a video with one of the studies that we lead here, uh, the, the video does a really great job of recapping a bit of what we read. Um, in this study, it doesn't do that. The videos that we watch in this study are more of a supplement to some of the things that we've read and learned. And so in order to participate fully, you'll want to make sure that you do read uh, the chapter. Uh, remember to bring your Bible as well. Uh, we, do have, we do read a couple Bible passages as foundation for the study that we're doing. And, uh, and for this week only, we are only meeting during the 7 p.m. Normally we meet at 10 a.m. or 7 p.m., but this week only we're, we're only meeting at 7 p.m. Uh, because I have another meeting to attend at 10 a.m. Uh, you can join us online or in person. And the link for more information, like I said, is below in the description. So some good news, the Lancaster County Health Department came out with a report on COVID yesterday. And the good news is that the COVID dial has moved down a notch. We are now in the high yellow instead of the low orange. And this means we're continuing uh, to move in the right direction. And so we are, we're still requiring masks for all in-person activities. Uh, once the dial reaches mid yellow, we'll not require masks for those who have been fully vaccinated. Unless of course, we still have a countywide mandate. We're gonna continue to follow that. Um, so I want to just thank you again for continuing to wear your masks. The data shows that it works, that because of our mask mandate here in Lancaster County, our numbers in our county are actually going down faster than the other counties in the state that don't have a mask mandate. So uh, thank you and continue to wear the masks on nose and mouth. Uh, it, it, it helps it helps others, right? It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily help us um, in a direct way. It helps us indirectly by reducing the spread so then we can go without masks, hopefully in the near future. Uh, but continue to wear them and I, and I thank you. I know I don't like wearing them any more than anybody else, uh, but it is a necessary thing. All right, and the last announcement I have is just a reminder that though we are still looking for a new music ministries director, we've been trying really hard to try and pull together some special music. Uh, a special thanks to Julie Eshelman, who's been, who's been doing a lot of work on this and organizing us and trying to lead us in some choir, uh, as well as some, uh, some chime stuff. And so we've already done one recording of a, a choir piece back, um, and, uh, back a couple weeks ago, and here beginning October 20th, so next Wednesday, a week from today at 7 p.m., uh, our choir is getting back together, and we're gonna be doing some stuff. So if you would like to sing, um, and you'd like to join us and participate in either singing or doing chimes, uh, we would love to have you. You don't have to know how to read music or be a professional singer. If you have never sung in a choir or played the chimes before, it's okay. 
uh, we'll teach you what you need to know. It's a lot of fun. Uh, trust me on that. I don't know how to read music, nor have I sung in a choir before. I came here to St. Luke, but I'm able to participate. Uh, it's a lot of fun, um, and, uh, and, and we're willing to work with you. So I, I hope you will join us. We're always also looking for folks who would like to uh, give an offering to the Lord of music or poetry or art or dance to contribute to worship. Uh, we'd love to have that uh, as well. And so if you have something you'd like to offer to the Lord, during worship, uh, please let me know. Um, be in prayer about it. We'd love to have something like that. All right, so this weekend in worship, uh, we are continuing our worship series called Define Gravity, which of course is based on the book that we're studying of the same name by Tom Berlin. And this week we're gonna be looking at Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. And this is a familiar story to most of us. It's the story of the prodigal son, or also sometimes known as the story of the loving father. And as you may remember, uh, this story is about a young man who approaches his dad and asks for his portion of his inheritance early. Now, this, of course, is a huge dishonor to the dad. Um, it's incredibly insulting and would have been shocking to hear even today, let alone in the original, for the original audience. Um, but the father agrees, surprisingly, and uh, gives his son his inheritance early. And the son takes that inheritance, takes that money, runs off to a foreign land, and spends all of his money on extravagant living. He wastes it all. And it doesn't take long before a famine hits the land, he's broke, he's wishing that he could have even, even the food that the pigs that he's serving are eating. I mean, he's just starving, he's miserable, and he wishes he could have even just that. Now, money has a very strong gravitational pull on our lives. I mean, how many of us, right, have, uh, when given a large sum of money, hit maybe a tax return or some money for Christmas, um, we just, we can't wait to go out and spend it. You may have heard that phrase, I've got money burning a hole in my pocket, right? Uh, sometimes the pull of money is so great that it never stays in our pocket for long. And we end up, like the prodigal son, going out and spending it on extravagant things. The newest, the best. Uh, things that end up just sitting in a drawer or on a shelf, never to be used again. And so I hope you will join me this weekend as we explore this gravitational pull and how wasteful spending prevents us from living the generous lives God has meant for each and every one of us. Um, so our worship times this weekend are uh, Saturday at 5.30 p.m. or Sunday at either 8.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. And the 10.30 service, of course, is always live streamed as well as in person. And so I hope to see you at both of the, or any one of these services. Have a blessed week. Bye.